In this video, we're going to look into another condition relating to straight lines and slopes, and it is the condition of perpendicularity of two lines. What happens when two lines are perpendicular? What is the angle between them? How is it related to the slopes? Is what we're going to look into in this video. All right, here we are. It says if two lines of slopes m1 and m2 are perpendicular, then the angle theta between them is of 90 degrees. Well, again, it's not very different from the previous video where we did the condition of parallelism of two lines. Here we, we are doing the condition of perpendicularity of two lines, just the opposite. Again, there's nothing very new from this statement. I mean, we do know that if two lines are perpendicular, then the angle theta between them is 90 degrees. No doubt about that, right? What it has got to do with the slopes is what's important now. So we know that slope is given by tan theta. And here the angle between the two lines is given as 90 degrees. So tan 90 degrees, as we all know, is undefined, right? Is undefined. So therefore, tan 90 degrees, since tan 90 degrees is undefined, and more importantly, we need this, right? Tan theta equals m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2, right? So, so to keep the the whole slope thing still in the picture and you know discard the undefined thing what we're going to do is we're just going to use cot theta and write this as 1 plus m1 m2 divided by m2 minus m1 all right this is this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to we're just going to reciprocate the whole thing that's all right here 1 by tan theta and reciprocate this and you know 1 by tan, tan theta is cot theta so there's nothing still changed there so cot theta will be in this case will be cot 90 which will be equal to 0 so it'll be 0 equal to 1 plus m1 m2 divided by m2 minus m1 and you can see that 1 plus m1 times m2 will be equal to 0 times m2 minus m1 which, which will be equal to 0 and we have m1 m2 equal to 0 minus 1 that is nothing but m1 m2 equal to negative 1. So this is the most important result that we've got from this video I can say. So that's how we're going to conclude is so this is the most important conclusion. Thus when two lines are perpendicular the product of their slopes is going to be negative 1 or if m is the slope of a line then the slope of a line perpendicular to that line is going to be minus 1 by m so this is the most important statement that you're going to take away after watching this video so this is where you know we kind of get the whole concept too so we start off saying that if two lines of slopes m or m2 are perpendicular then the angle theta between them is of 90 degrees but you know tan theta is undefined so you just write 1 by tan theta which becomes cot theta and because of this you kind of reciprocate the this part as well and that's how we reach the result that m1 times m2 or the product of two slopes when two slopes of the two lines that are perpendicular is going to be negative one and here we are so this is the most important thing all right so do remember this and get yourself familiarized with all these things so that we we can really apply these results because we are going to apply these results in the forthcoming videos where we're going to solve a lot of problems based on slopes uh, that time you're really going to save a lot of times if you do remember these conditions. All right, so that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with uh, problems based on all the concepts that we've done so far.